Hello everyone, CPG here. In today's video we're going to be talking about 6 underwater mechanics that many ARC players don't know. Um, if you enjoy the video, definitely leave a like and subscribe. Also, if you have any other me underwater mechanics or any mechanics in general that uh, aren't covered here and you would like me to uh, test out and give it a try, uh, comment down below. Other than that, let's get into it. So the first thing we're going to talk about is growing crops underwater. I'm not sure if this is a mechanic of the game or it's just a bug, um, but it's definitely something that is possible and uh, very convenient if you do want to grow crops underwater or for PvP specifically, uh, having Plan X underwater is uh, really good. Um, before I get into showing you how to do this, I just want to note that you will need a tech generator because we're going to be using vacuum compartments unless the server you're on doesn't require you to use um, tech energy to power the vacuum compartments. But uh, either way, so I put some pillars here. I feel like the pillars are a little easier because you can technically put the Plan X anywhere as opposed to the foundation you have to put in areas where the foundation will snap to the ground. So uh, yeah, what we're going to need is the vacuum compartments, uh, some pillars in the ceiling or a foundation, a crop plot, um, some pipes, um, and a tech generator. So I got my pillars. I'm going to put a ceiling here. Then I'm going to put a vacuum compartment over the ceiling or foundation, whatever, whatever your preference is. Then I'm going to go inside. I'm going to close this so the water um, the water goes out of the vacuum department. Open this. I'm going to jump up here. Um, I'm just going to place the crop pot on the actual... You have to place the crop pot on the ceiling or foundation. It's a little easier on ceilings because you can just place the vacuum department over the ceiling as I just did. But for the foundation, it's a little harder. Just make sure that you place the crop pot on the actual foundation itself. And then I uh, have some fertilizer I'll just put in here. But I'm going to wait till I... Go ahead and take this is pretty much it right here and then we can add the pipes while in the vacuum department or outside but i can just i'll go ahead and add them right now all right and then we just uh you can pick up or destroy the vacuum department and then uh here we are we have the crop plot underwater this we don't need but uh, for the sake of it i'll just destroy it uh so here we are we have our crop plot with fertilizer in it i'm gonna go ahead and put a, uh, a plant X seed in here and wait for it to grow I did turn up the crop growth uh, by 500 times so it is gonna grow fast um, the crop growth underwater is normal to whatever the server rate is on the server you're playing whether it be official or uh, dedicated so I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a second here to grow and then uh, yeah so as you can see the plan X did grow underwater. Um, this is definitely something that many people do not know. Like I said, it could be helpful for anybody who has built underwater, um, PVE or PVP. Um, like I said, PVP would probably be more more useful since uh, I mean PVE you can kind of just you know build anywhere in the open. But you know to each drone, I suppose. But yeah, definitely uh, the way to uh, grow crops underwater. One of the most tedious things about exploring the underwater of Ark is being able to see clearly, as you can see. On my screen, I can't even see a couple feet in front of me, basically. Um, and then if we use the scuba gear, it gets a little better, but not that much. So that's still not ideal. But if you actually equip the gas mask, you can literally see basically perfect. Like I can see all the way across the map. I would say the gas mask isn't something you could just pick up super early game. It does require some resources that take a little bit to get. But once you get it, this is definitely worth it because, as I said, you can clearly see everything perfect. Probably the only downside to using the gas mask to see clearly underwater is that if you ride a tame, the vision goes back to how you would see it um, if you were just swimming underwater regularly. But once you get off, you go back to seeing uh, seeing the underwater areas clearly. Um, so definitely keep that in mind if you're going to be spelunking with a tame. That way you could uh, plan accordingly. So the third interesting underwater mechanic that we're going to talk about is hitting oxygen with the tech chest piece. Um, as you see, I have uh, the tech chest piece on as well as some flippers, um, which I can take off. If you just actually just jump, you can just double press the jump button, uh, which for me is the space bar or whatever button that uh, this view. You'll get oxygen as you jump. As you can see on my screen, I'm getting oxygen. This is something that is very useful and uh, I use very often while I'm playing. On when I'm underwater, it's uh it's definitely something I recommend using if you haven't uh, haven't been using it already because like I said it's very convenient 
and uh, it has saved my life plenty of times. Okay, on the subject of benefiting from jumping with a tech suit on underwater, um, we're going to talk about using weapons underwater. Um, it can be somewhat convenient. Um, pros that you can shoot any weapon underwater. Cons is that uh, you can't aim. Really, like you can't aim. You just kind of jump and shoot it in the direction. But I will show you. So pretty much it's kind of the same mechanic. You just double jump. And you just shoot. And you can do that um, with rockets as well. Then we just uh, jump. So it's a... Uh, like I said, it's a, a pretty good pretty good mechanic could be useful in certain situations um, but uh, overall uh, it's definitely a lot of drawback to it since um, you really can't aim once again just like the uh, growing crops in the water I'm not sure if this is an actual mechanic uh, yeah, an actual intended mechanic or it's just a glitch but uh, it's definitely you can, something you can do on uh, dedicated and official speaking of shooting weapons in the water it brings us to our next interesting mechanic um, once again we're using vacuum compartments um, we have a catapult turret here as well as a rocket turret and you can see that they are enclosed in the vacuum compartments and they will fire of course inside of here because it's inside of a structure um, but when I open the vacuum compartments and let the water in the rocket turret and catapult turret can both be mounted it can actually both be fired that's really interesting once again something that could be helpful or convenient in certain uh, circumstances and overall just pretty cool there goes, uh, there goes my boulder flying. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, ballista turret works the same. I didn't have enough room to place it on the ballista turret. But more or less the mechanic works the same. As long as you place it inside of the vacuum compartments. Um, while they're closed. Because obviously you can't. You won't be able to place them. Uh, if the water is in. But you just close up the vacuum compartment. Place down your turret. Ballista turret. Rocket turret. Catapult turret. Then you just open the. Open the side you want to shoot from and then just uh, fire away. The next thing we're going to be looking at is actually uh, pretty weird. So as you can see the, I don't know how to correctly say this, but the Leo Pluridon, the dino, the underwater dino that gives a uh, loot quality boost when you tame it, um, is actually the same size if not smaller than the Megalodon, which can be netted. But you cannot actually, I'm just going to call it a Leo, you cannot net the Leo. If you try to net it, well, this happens. He just, uh, he runs away. That's very interesting. And the reason for that being is that uh, the net can only net creatures under 500 uh, drag weight. And the Leo actually has 12,000. So uh, pretty interesting. I guess uh, size doesn't always matter, right? <laughs> So that's going to be the end of today's video. If you enjoyed the video, definitely leave a like and subscribe. Also, comment down below if uh, if you knew some of these or if you knew all of them or knew none of them. And uh, I will see you guys next video. Bye.